here. I hope you all got your recipe booklets in the pack that you received from Chilwood last week. So today I'm going to use one of those recipes. I'm going to make some easy flatbreads. I thought I'd have them for my dinner tonight. So I thought I'd make them with you. Now I've got all the things I need ready. So let's start. First of all, what we need to do is we've got to weigh out our flour, our self-raising flour. We need 350 grams of flour. Put my flour into the bowl until my scale says 350. Can you see, flip it over, so I take some out until I can get it just right. This is a tricky bit. Oh, it's still not there, is it? There, 350, perfect. Now we need to do the same amount of yogurt. Now you can use any kind of yogurt you like. I'm going to use soya yogurt in mine. So I need to weigh that out, 350 grams of that. Plop, 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 look at it plop into the flour. There, 350, I think we've done it. The last thing you need to put in is your baking powder, one teaspoon. Sprinkle it in with the flour and the yoghurt. Now you can add some other things to your dough if you like. We can put some flavourings in. Maybe I put some garlic powder, some cumin seeds, some nigella seeds. Now I'm going to put some sumac in, which is a kind of herb that makes everything taste a little bit lemony, which I thought would be quite nice in my bread, so I'll put a little bit of that in. You don't have to if you don't want to, it's just an idea. Now here comes the fun part, we're going to mix it together. But remember, before you start mixing, make sure you wash your hands. Mine are all nice and clean. So let's put our hands in. Once your dough has started to come together, you need to tip it out onto a floured surface. So let's put a little bit of flour down on the table. Put our dough on top and we're going to knead it all the pieces of dough and flour and yogurt together to make a nice dough. Now you don't need to do this for very long, just a quick one. Okay, do this with one hand or two hands and take it in turns with other people in your kitchen. There. Are you ready? Now that's needed enough. I'm going to put it in the bowl just for a little while. It doesn't need to be left for very long. If you're making the garlic butter, you can make that now. That's on the recipe booklet that I gave. That I'm going to leave it in the bowl for a little bit. You might want to get on and make garlic butter if you've decided to do that. The recipe is in your booklet. Okay, now we're going to roll out our dough. It's been in the bowl for a little while, so it's got all nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll it into a kind of sausage and then we're going to cut it into eight pieces to make eight flatbreads. So first we're going to cut it in half and each piece cut in half to make, oh how many will that make? Let's have a look. That one in half too. So now I've got one, two, three, four. If I cut each one of those in half, how many will I have? Two, two more, another two. Oh, sticky. And another two. How many do you think that's gonna be? Should we count? We have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to make eight breads. With your dough, you need to put it on a floured surface. We're going to roll it into a round shape. So first of all, bring all the edges in to make it nice and round like that. Can you see? Flap it with your hand and then you're going to use your rolling pin to roll out your bread. Keep rolling. You can stretch it with your hands as well to make it bigger. To make a big round bread. Roll in some more. To 
push down hard. Can you see the flecks of sumac that I put in mine? I think it's ready for cooking. Let's cook it. Okay, so now we, first of all, we need to heat up the pan. We need to get an adult to do this with you. And the pan needs to be very hot. So it needs to be hot, hot, hot. So make sure an adult's there to help you with this bit. It's very, very important. And when it's hot enough, you're gonna put your breads on. Put your bread in the pan. You can hear it. Come closer and you might be able to hear it sizzle. We're going to watch what happens to the bread in the pan. Now look, can you see all the bubbles starting to form in the bread? That means it's nearly ready to turn over. I'm going to turn it over with my tongs. It's got some little brown speckles on it. Let's check to see if it's done on the other side. Let's turn it over. Oh, look at that. Can you see where all the bubbles have gone brown? look delicious. I think this one's done. Okay, when it's done you take it out and you wrap it up in a tea towel to keep it warm and then you can get on with the next one. You can also cook your flatbreads over a barbecue or even a campfire. Have fun making them. Send in any pictures of those that you make. We'd love to see them.